my opinion in one sentence that is totally unfair bias and everything else and I'm glad someone took a look at it and made a difference. Stop and frisk has caused frustration on the streets of Brownsville, Brooklyn, where Monday's court ruling was well received. The area saw 3,020 police stops in the first quarter of this year, the most in the city. A federal judge in Manhattan found that the tactic violated the constitutional rights of minorities. She declared that the police department had adopted a policy of indirect racial profiling. Going forward, an outside lawyer will monitor police compliance with the Constitution. The, the decision that was made today, I feel it's, it's okay. It's a, a good way, a good start to move forward. For them to be monitored is like, yeah, it, it makes people feel much more safer, especially young guys my age. Yeah, I think it's definitely a good thing, definitely. Because I don't have to walk and look over my shoulder and worrying about, you know, undercovers running up on me, jacking me up, harassing me. You know, I could be coming from the store, minding my own business or getting off of work. And they just look at me, feel like, oh, yeah, let's get this guy right here. Like, hey, buddy, like, you know, like, what's the problem? You know, it's uncalled for. But even some people who say they've been innocent targets of stop and frisk see a need for a strong police presence in this particular part of Brooklyn. You know, there are times, like 25, 35 percent of the time that when the cops stop people, they do have things on them, like guns, weed, or marijuana, or whatever. And, and that stuff is what brings the neighborhood down a lot of times, you know, and it only gets worse if the cops don't do their job. If you stop me and frisk me, please explain to me why. Bishop Willie Billups believes that stop and frisk has helped make his community safer. He works with gang members in housing projects, as well as the police, to lessen tensions. Police work is very, very important in the neighborhood. If we didn't have that in the neighborhood, every drug dealer would be set up shop everywhere. We need it, but we need it done correctly. And we need people being treated with respect. That's, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about.